On Thursday, January 25th, Big Sandy Healthcare held a ribbon cutting ceremony for the new Johnson County Health Center in Paintsville. The health center is a product of a new partnership between Big Sandy Healthcare and United Healthcare, with $500,000 of funding used for the building. The new facility will be open to the public on January 29th. Our hope is that this, this uh, new health center really raises up the health outcomes for the entire community, Johnson County and surrounding communities, specifically downtown Paintsville. Johnson County is one of the um, unhealthiest counties in our Commonwealth, has an average life expectancy six years shorter than the national average. So we hope that this health center changes lives, transforms lives, makes lives longer. Make your ride one of a kind and see the experts at JM Custom Auto and Off Road. It's your customization candy store. Visit jmcustomauto.com and select your make and model. It's that easy. Window tinting, remote start, leather interiors, sound systems, front and rear bumpers, spray and bed liners, bed covers, wheels and tires, lift kits, step rails, even underglow lock kits, and so much more. If you can dream it, we can do it at JM Custom. Big Sandy Healthcare and United Healthcare have assessed the needs of the community to determine how to provide quality services. Hensel says Johnson County residents are more than happy. United Healthcare Community Plan of Kentucky entered the Commonwealth as a Medicaid provider in 2021. So it was fascinating for me to hear the history. We identified this community in particular of having access to care issues, and I'm thrilled that within our first few years here in the Commonwealth, we were able to help close those gaps. I love when I come to Paintsville, the community here is so warm. They're doing wonderful things um, in terms of health with farmers markets, etc. I think people are truly excited about this space opening right here in their hometown and being so close to downtown Paintsville. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.